You'll find a million and one different methods given in all these grow taller videos on YouTube, but those are the only three real legitimate ways to increase your vertical height. What's up guys, Sean Nalawani, realscienceathletics.com with a different video topic today. I've actually had this one written down on my list of possible topics to cover for like over five years now, but I just never went ahead with it because I wasn't sure if it made sense to uh, post a video like this. But a lot of people have asked me about this subject over the years because it is somewhat related to building muscle and losing fat. You know, people are trying to improve their body composition and their appearance. And so it would make sense that height would play into that as well. And there are a ton of these videos on YouTube with millions and millions of views between them. Increase height, grow taller, 2.7 million views. How to increase height naturally, 3.7 million views. I stretched for 30 days to grow taller. It works, 2.4 million views. Seven stretches to grow taller, 6.9 million views. 10 home exercises to become taller in no time, 25 million views. So clearly this is something that a lot of people are looking up. And if you read the comment sections on most of these videos, you'll see that a pretty high percentage of people genuinely aren't sure whether or not this stuff has any merit. So that is the question for today. Is there anything that you can do to increase your height naturally, or is this just a bunch of BS? Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new here and let's jump into it. So there are a variety of different factors involved in how your body physically grows taller, but the primary way is through the lengthening of the long bones. So in the lower body, that's going to be uh, your feet femurs, which are your thigh bones, and then your tibia and your fibula, which are the lower leg bones. And then at the end of those bones, you have what are called epiphyseal plates, uh, also called growth plates. And as you go from childhood into puberty, those growth plates build new cartilage at the end of the bones, and then that solidifies into actual bone. And then once puberty is finished, the growth plates fuse together and you're not going to grow any taller after that point. Obviously, the spine elongates too. That's done through a slightly different but uh, similar mechanism. And then, of course, throughout puberty, uh, the other bones on your body increase in size as well. But when it all comes down to it, assuming you grew up receiving proper nutrition, um, you had reasonable sleeping habits, and you weren't living in a chronically high stress environment, your final height is mostly going to be a product of genetics. The biggest growth spurt for males usually happens between the ages of 12 to 15. And usually by age 18, you're going to have reached your maximum height. Um, now, there are always going to be exceptions. You know, in some cases, there could be some growth into the early 20s. But usually by the late teens, you're pretty much done. Um, environmental factors contribute to a certain smaller degree, but genetics are what's going to make up the vast majority of it. And unfortunately, genetics are not something that is within your control. You know, it would be great if we could uh, do things to build on our height in the same way that we can build muscle or lose fat or gain strength. You know, if that was possible, I would have been on that a long time ago. Um, I'm basically average height myself, but you know, if I could be six foot three, I would definitely take that option. But unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way. You know, sorry to be the bearer of bad news here, but all the stuff that you see online, grow taller programs, uh, you know, supplements, stretching exercises, magical Ayurvedic height increasing foods. It's really just a bunch of BS put out by people who either don't know what they're talking about, or they do know what they're talking about, but they're just doing it for views, or they're actively trying to scam you by selling you their height increasing products. Yeah, you're going to find some videos of people who claim that, you know, they stretched for 30 days and they added three centimeters to their height or whatever. And it might sound convincing, but Either these people aren't measuring themselves accurately, you know, all it takes is a slight change in how you measure yourself to get a different reading, especially when uh, you're trying to do it on your own, um, or they're standing with a different posture and they just don't realize it. Or again, they're just knowingly exaggerating things for views and for profit. Uh, yes, believe it or not, uh, I know this is absolutely shocking and it could uh, rock your entire reality, but the fact is that sometimes people do in fact make things up and post them online for their own gain. What's going on, guys? Uh, it's crazy, I know. And uh, if you don't believe me, then go ahead and try this stuff out, okay? Devote your time and effort to some height increasing program for a few months. Get yourself measured properly before and after, and you can confirm for yourself that this doesn't actually work. Assuming you're past puberty and you're not just experiencing some normal growth throughout that time. Now, if doing any of those things, uh, you know, stretches or certain exercises or whatever, if that helps you improve your posture or just causes you to become more mindful of your posture, then that can help you appear slightly taller, but it's not physically elongating your body to any significant degree. Now, it is true that your height naturally decreases slightly throughout the day because when you stand up, the uh, fluid sacs in between your spinal discs, they compress a bit 
because of gravity. And so certain stretches might be able to very slightly reverse that compression uh, on a temporary basis, but the effect is really going to be extremely small when it all comes down to it. Okay, probably not even noticeable and it won't last very long anyway. So uh, I would say that it's just not a very good use of your time. The only truly legitimate treatments for increasing height would be certain types of hormone therapy for those who are still going through puberty and who have certain health conditions, or there is actually such a thing as height increasing surgery. And that's where holes are physically drilled into the leg bones, the bones are broken, and then a metal rod with screws gets inserted, and then that rod gets slowly uh, lengthened over time. And some people can gain up to as much as five inches in height using that procedure. Uh, but it's generally considered to be a fairly risky surgery. Um, there are a lot of potential complications that can arise from it. Uh, and it's apparently a really long and really grueling process from start to finish. So it's just not going to be realistic for most people. Um, and then aside from hormone therapy and surgery, um, if you are younger, um, you're in your, let's say, earlier to mid-teens and you're still going through puberty, then again, covering the basics like proper balanced nutrition, uh, good high quality sleep, mitigating stress, those things are going to ensure that your growth potential is 100% maximized. Um, and in case you were wondering, uh, no, there is no evidence at all to suggest that weight training stunts growth in any way. So that's not something that you need to worry about. You'll find a million and one different methods given in all these grow taller videos on YouTube, but those are the only three real legitimate ways to increase your vertical height. And unfortunately, the first two won't apply in virtually all cases. And the last one is only going to play a smaller role. And it's probably not going to be a limiting factor for most people um, in, let's say, developed countries. So with all that established, if you are on the shorter side and it is an insecurity for you, um, the whole mindset aspect of things aside, okay, that's a whole other topic beyond the scope of this video, but just in a direct practical sense, okay, standard advice, but you've got to recognize that height is not something within your control. And you've just got to focus on maximizing the aspects of your appearance that you do have control over. And there are quite a few things that you can optimize. Um, you can gain muscle and lose fat, of course, to give yourself uh, a stronger, more dominant look. Um, if you want to get a free program for that, then you can head over to seannow.com slash custom, just fill out the form there, and I'll send you back a free individualized training and nutrition plan that you can follow based on your current condition and your personal physique goals. The link for that is up here as well as down below in the description box. Um, aside from that, you can uh, dress well with properly fitted clothing. There's your hairstyle. Um, obviously, perfect hygiene is a given. Um, carry yourself with good upright posture. Take good care of your skin. And then some guys will give themselves a small boost by wearing thicker soled shoes um, or even using insoles to gain an extra inch or two in height. Now, that's kind of a gray area. Um, it wouldn't be my thing personally, but but it is an option depending on your own personal uh, sort of viewpoint and approach to things. So maximize all areas as best you can. But bottom line, as far as actual physical height is concerned, okay, you can stretch until you're blue in the face or eat as many pounds of bamboo as you want or buy whatever scam supplements some random YouTuber is trying to throw at you. But it's really just a waste of your time, effort and your money. And that is time, effort and money that you could be using toward things that you actually do have control over and that actually will improve your appearance for real. So thanks for watching, guys. Here are two more videos I'd recommend checking out now. You can follow me over on Instagram for more daily tips and updates. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date on future content. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next, and I will talk to you again soon.